Welcome to CDS, Custom Downstream System. My name is Jerry Lamort, and I'm the service manager here at CDS. Today, we will be talking about the CSSD 3-3, which stands for the CDS Super Precision Down Cut Saw 3-inch by 3-inch cut window. We will be going over the maintenance section of the machine. To have access to the belt of the saw blade, we will need to remove this guard. There is two screws to undo. So we'll take them out. You will need some tools to do this once the machine is in production. We will remove the guard. And now we have access to the belt. As you may see, presently the belt is properly tensioned. In order to remove it, we will need to slack and undo the, two, the four screws that hold the motor on this position over here. To remove the tension from the belt of the blade, you will need to untighten these four bolts, two on this side and two on the opposite side of the motor. Your motor will be able to slide up and down freely at that point and you will be able to change your belt. We suggest that you inspect your belt at least once a month to make sure that you have the proper tension and to replace it once a year. To remove or to change or even to make an adjustment to your table travel belt, you will need to slack these screws here, one on the top and then there's another one on the bottom. Once you put the screws all the way to the end, you will be able to remove this belt. Then we have four more screws that we need to, uh, to remove. Once the tension of the belt has been reduced or removed, you will have access to these four screws. You will need to remove the screws and then you'll be able to remove this plate. At that point, the belt can be completely removed and replaced. Do the reverse operation in order to install a new belt. To remove the blade from the machine, the first thing you will need to do is make sure that your machine is powered down so that you don't have any accident. Although with the door open, the e-stop is engaged and the machine will not operate, will not function. The first thing we will need to do is remove this guard. So we're gonna remove the two screws that are holding the guard. And the reason why we need to do this is to expose the shaft. We will be able now, with the shaft exposed, to put our wrench right here. As you may see, I'm able to rotate the shaft, but this will be actually my hold on for when I remove the nut. Now we will set up with the power tool in order to remove the nut of the bleed holder. Now having your wrench hold on on the end of the shaft, you want to make sure that it's properly holding. Here at CDS we use pneumatic tools, but in the industry you might use your hand tools, but it's the same principle. With our tool, we're going to go on the nut that is holding the blade in position, and we're going to go counterclockwise. And then we're going to activate it and we're going to remove the nut. Once the nut is removed, you'll be able to remove the blade washer. And then with the blade washer removed, you'll be able to change your blade. We recommend before taking out the blade that you put some gloves because your blade can still be sharp and you may be able to cut yourself. During the video, we will not completely remove the blade, but it's just to indicate you how to remove the blade. To put the nut back in, we will do the reverse. We're gonna make sure that the blade washer is touching the blade and it's not too tight, but it's still on the blade. And then we will put by hand first, we're gonna put the, the nut, and then at the end, we're gonna tighten it with our power tool. Again, if you don't have a power tool, any hand tool will work also. Awesome. 
Greasing the rail bearings should be done at least once a month. In order to do that, we will expose the grease nipple by removing this cap. With the cap removed, at this point we have access to the grease nipple. You just need to do one squeeze of grease in all four grease, bearing, grease nipples of the all four rail bearings. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe and comment this video. If you have any questions, you can go see our website at cdsmachine.com. You can also contact one of our local sales representatives. Once again, thank you for watching.